The acting in this film is deliberately naturalistic, but the actors are playing characters, and I think out of respect for the actors, it's important to remember that a large percentage of what they say is from the character's experience, not their own. Not just the drug stuff. I was genuinely impressed by their ability to blend things that were totally fictional with aspects of themselves. I'm not saying this because they've asked me to, but because this kind of naturalistic acting can be quite vulnerable. These actors are their own people with their own lives and are not the same as the characters. Because of the way it was shot, occasionally the audio is a bit difficult to make out. If you're watching on YouTube, there should be a way of turning on subtitles, but I think it's mostly okay. And then what, just gone? Where are they going? I know I just looked out that Jeremy's just like seen around the corner. Oh, are they going out? Well, it looks like it. I, I thought he was so. staying in tonight. I think, he's, I think he said he might go out for a bit, but he's, he should be back a little bit later on. I think he's, he's going to pack his bags. I think he's planned to go out, go home. Okay. Is anyone listening? I don't know, I mean... Hello? See, a part of me feels like it's probably, it could just be some sort of like, prank, but yeah, but... <laughs> oh, they're pretty drunk, aren't they? Well, I feel like the only person that would do it would be Jeremy, but if he's gone, like... Did you just see him walk off then? Yeah, I literally had to look around, he was just going just around the corner. Was there anyone with him? No. Just by himself? Yeah, although when I, just before I came up, most people had already gone. I think most of them are just going clubbing. Oh, shit. Hello? 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 I'm Nick, by the way. Oh, I'm Laura. Hiya. Nice <laughs> yeah. Strange to meet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. are you. Are you his friend from home? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you one of his uni friends? Yeah, yeah, we live together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I should make more of an effort to sort of meet some of his uni friends, I don't know. Yeah. Really. I mean, I've seen you on a few of his um, Instagram posts and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, you had a few friends come up, but you didn't, didn't fancy the sim then? No, no. no. Well, I've got, I work now. Oh, okay, so fair. I, yeah. yeah. What do you do? Um, I sort of do sort of game level design. Oh, wow, so okay. Like Unreal Engine. If you face like a, a sort of game engine thing. An of. engine? Yeah, yeah, it's like a sort of software, you know, that you kind of create stuff and that's all build the levels and that. Okay, yeah. sounds good, sounds clever. Did you, what did you study at uni? Uh, English, English Lit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
bit different to yeah. <laughs> game software. Are you looking for work now then? Um, well, I've got I've just got a job um, doing marketing. It's not that exciting, really. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is it sort of does the degree did the degree help get that or is kind of I, I feel like English is one of those things that you know you can do so much with but really you can do nothing with. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just one of those. There's like no set path unless you want to be teaching and sure. don't really want to do teaching. Mm -hmm. no, that's fair enough. I mean. Yeah, it's a bit of a. Um, so your phone's dead, is it? Yeah. Um, I left the house, it's only on about 12%. It's my own fault. But I did bring my charger, but I don't know where it's gone. What? I usually always have mine on, but it's downstairs for the music. Do you think Jeremy's got one? Uh, it's a shot. I feel, I don't feel like I don't want to look through his drawers just randomly. That's the thing, I feel like there's a bit. I feel does. a bit intrusive just going through his stuff. Yeah, it feels like it's a bit of kind of like a, a boundary perhaps. Yeah, I feel... Although if he did lock us in then... <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe he deserves it. Um, if I was a charger, where would I be? It's got some wires here. Yeah, actually there. I'm not too sure. I've only seen acid once actually. A friend had some on his hand. Oh, <laughs> well, it does look a bit like it, doesn't it? Why would he. Well, I mean, I know he used to take it, but I thought he'd stop. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. <laughs> no, me neither. Um, have you taken acid before? No, never. Have you? No, no. I did um, one of the uni on for a little sort of. Weedy phase, but nothing. Uh, uh, no, I, never, I don't think I'll be able to do anything in psychedelics. I don't think I've got the mind for it. No? No. I don't know, it's kind of intrigued me, like before, but I've never, I feel like I've always been too scared to do it really. Yeah. I've always just, people offered it me when I'm already drunk, so I just get in my head about it. Yeah, you don't want to mix them in that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well. Well, so there's an option. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've been stuck in here all night. Yeah, I feel like I could go, um, I feel like I feel very badly. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. So, how did you actually meet Jeremy? Uh, it was first day actually, first day of Freshers. Mm -hmm. um, we went to this event at the SU and um, yeah, we just sat outside with a couple of friends in the smoking area, and then um, he said, so he said, dare him to go and smoke a cigarette mm -hmm. inside, inside the bar. <laughs> so we were like, no, we're not going to do that. Like, if you want to do that, that's on your, it's on your head. Um, so we was like, I bet I can get away with it. Um, and he went in, <laughs> took his six, and got chucked out instantly. Really? <laughs> yeah, he got barred like, from the SU like on the first night. Um, yeah. And then we ended up going to an after party um, at his house. Um, and then we all just got really drunk, ended up staying over. Um, yeah, and then we're just friends ever since, really. And then lived together with our other friend Hannah um, for second and third year. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. How about you? How, oh, from school, yeah. Yeah, from school. So it's, I've got to say it's quite strange actually hearing about him at uni. Cause yeah, I feel it's was like, he different? Mm, different no. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but it's just it's strange to hear all these things. I mean, I heard a few from other friends, but I feel like it's, it's strange to hear that. I mean, it, he was pretty much like that at school, to be honest. I mean, really? he came over during GCSEs. And I just remember the first day he came up. And um, we used to hang out on this like this bank area next to these sort of like these bushes and stuff. And you could kind of like go go behind them and uh, obviously you could be away from the teachers and all that. Um, yeah. Remember, he just came up and I'm gonna butcher it. He said, "All right, 
or whatever it is that you know, you know. And I was, <laughs> that was awful. I know, I, I, know, like I, know. <laughs> I know, I can't do it as well. But he, um, I just remember I, I, I thought he was doing an accent, like as a joke, so I replied, which oh, again, yeah. I won't do it now, but I replied in an accent. <laughs> and then, and then I quickly realised that he wasn't doing an accent, he was actually South African. Um, yeah, I used to do this thing where in the, in the back bit of our ties, there's like a little, a little pocket, and I used to just, I don't know why I did it, but I used to, there's a neighbour up our road, and I used to sort of, again, I, I didn't like smoke, but I just, for some reason, I used to take a couple of their cigarettes when I was looking after our dogs, and I used to just tuck them in the back of the tie. Wow. And, um, a rebel. Oh, well. <laughs> he was the one that would smoke them, though, but he used to go in the changing rooms and he'd just smoke them. Um, and we were all just like, surprised you got away with it. But I think, looking back, I reckon, like, the boys' changing room was just like deodorant, like 90% yeah. deodorant. The girls' was as well, like impulse spray, yeah. and everything. Yeah. I was just Lynx Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the girls, point yeah. where, like, I'm surprised it didn't blow up when he lit the cigarette, yeah. you know, <laughs> but... Oh my god, yeah, that'd be a story. I think they might have taken the smoke alarms out. Yeah, makes I don't want to tell him, because he's still boasting about that. Well, yeah, he well, still so boasting at you, Nate. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why he did it then. He probably got too cocky from school, thinking he could thinking get away he could with it. it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's strange, it's all like... Me sort of like encouraging that probably led to... Would, to that, to yeah, that and time, then so. to us meeting, and then us be friends as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so really, maybe you're the reason why me and Jeremy are friends. It's a lot to answer for. Really. Yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so then, technically, it's your fault that we're locked in here. Because if me and Jeremy true, had never yeah. met, then I would have never come here, and then I'd never be locked in. So. So. It's all, it's all down to you. So I failed miserably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's alright, let you off. Yeah, I yeah, I used to do um, Christopher Eccleston's one. Yeah. David Tennant's one. I started with Mark Smith and then I feel like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't get into it that much. I don't know if... I don't know if it's because I was getting older and I was doing other stuff or because, it, I don't know. See, I have to say, I had the exact same story. I saw Chris Beckerson and I was like, That's, I love this. Yeah. And then David Tennant was like, I was like, oh, wow. was like, wow, this yeah. is like prime time television. Yeah. And then, uh, I remember the first series of Matt Smith, I watched maybe half of it. And then yeah. I was like, I don't know what it was. Yeah. I do like Matt Smith, but I just, yeah, I don't know. Well, I think, you know, maybe you did, there was such a difference between how Chris Beckerson like was as a doctor versus David Tennant's doctor. Yeah. And then Matt Smith was quite similar to David Tennant in many ways. Do you think? Well, I think in the first series he's going for that kind of like, like appealing to the like kids that. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But I always like, now I look back the other day and thought the Chris Ruckerston ones have made my favourite because he's just, wherever age you are, it's just, I don't know. I feel like the David Tennant one's a bit cartoonish perhaps. Mm, maybe, but I feel like the age we were at at the time, yeah, yeah. I feel like it worked for us. Oh yeah, it was like... Did you find them scary? Um, no, uh, just me. No, no, I'd actually, I actually, the, some of the earlier, the first series I did. Do you remember that one with the gas mask? Oh yeah, that was scary. That was terrifying. Oh, like the one with the, the gas, uh, the ghosts and the gas. Yeah. And like, so that woman just screaming, just like with blue face. And... Do you remember one where there was like, there were like all things in the sky and, oh that's probably a lot of them, isn't it? Yeah, but... probably. <laughs> Space. Um, I feel like... Was it one with Rose and David Eccleston? No, David Tennant. No. David Eccleston. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, the one with the face. Do you remember the one with the skin? They're like really stretched skin. Oh. It was like a face. On the Trump, like Cassandra. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. terrible. That freaked me yeah. out because you could see all the veins and everything. Yeah. Didn't like that. I'll tell you one that was really good though that I remember being like, this is incredible, is the, um, do you remember the, the clockwork ones? Where they're on a spaceship that accesses different points in time, and it's sort of um, it's a David Tennant one, and it's got Rose and Mickey. Oh yeah, Mickey. Mickey, oh, yeah. Mickey. Oh, I heard something about that actor though. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but um, 
Yeah, they're doing, um, they did that in 2013. Did you watch The Day of the Doctor? They, they did like a movie and they had Matt Smith and David Tennant and then they had John Hurt. No, I didn't see that. She, oh, they no. had um, Billy Parker come back. Oh. Because she didn't play Rose, it was weird. It was like a, Who was she playing then? It was like something that had taken the image of someone that he knew. And it, like, oh, the right, okay. Rose, yeah, she was, they had a proper kind of, I feel like that was the most one that you see that they had a proper, like, love affair. Do you know what I mean? They, they, they yeah. actually really loved each other. It was, like, romantic. I feel like none of the others have been romantic. No, Or no. as much, anyway. Maybe no. it's been, like, a hint or a suggestion, but... But that was, like, also because of the age, because he was younger, you know. It's yeah. More, like, maybe a there, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like... It's they all... Just... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, they just... I don't know, they just had a really good chemistry, I feel. They just seemed to yeah. work well together, didn't they? Yeah, I feel, I feel like... I almost, like, feel bad for people growing up now because I feel like it was such a good time to be watching television. Yeah. Because it was like everyone at school would have known what was happening and all this, and now I feel like with so many different things with streaming and that, it's kind of like... That's true, actually. Maybe there's too much choice. Too much choice. At the whole, have you seen this? No. Have you yeah. seen that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, it was, I mean, when I was little, I had... I swear I only had about five channels until I was about seven. Yeah, did you did you ever record onto VHS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like, I happened to like wind them back and yeah. get like a pencil and like... And, like, and then someone tapes over your show yeah. on the stage. Or you stop watching something, then it finishes and then some random program just starts and you're like... Yeah, this? you left it taping and so And then you'd have to like write on them what it was and then they'd have, like, you'd scribble out what it was and then put something else and scribble it out. Yeah, yeah. and you end up with just like... Oh my god, that makes me feel so old. I've actually noticed he's got a VHS on the lid. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it's mad because like DVDs are old now. DVDs are like yeah. no one uses them. So VHS is just it's like old school. vintage. Yeah. I haven't seen VHS that's in what, years. That's what we are now. Vintage. I remember it being quite good, but like whenever you see the effects and stuff, it always looks like really messed yeah. up. And I think did I just remember incorrectly? Because I remember even like box televisions, I feel like it kind of it must have in some way been such bad quality to watch, but I remember I just, I I just remember the episode. I don't remember what it yeah. was like to watch it. Yeah, you, you watched know. it from you know early two thousands and things like that, and it you like you think wow it looks so old, but at the time it felt yeah very mm. new. Yeah. Yeah, it just shows how old we are. Yeah. Finishing the year, everything. <laughs> Still, sort of, it's a part of me that wanders about. What? I don't, know. I don't even know if it is, you know. That's what I'm thinking, though. It's like, I suppose I need how do you tell? Find out, yeah. yeah. I'll love you, Will. Mm. Um. Mm. No. So, I think I just would, my head would probably explode. What, literally? Yeah. yeah. You miss. Do you miss like uni? No, oh, it's just finished for you. Yeah, massively. I just I feel like I'm already getting that, you know, Sunday scaries feeling. Just just working full time, just Yeah. It's just horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's such like a first world problem, but just uh, my um my sister's just started uni, um, just got into first year at Manchester. I'm mm. just just so jealous. Like just all her Instagram posts and everything, like she just had a, you know, a great time, and yeah. But you know at uni when you felt like you actually had a purpose as well? Like you get up at one o'clock, you might go to a lecture, come home, have a nap, and then go out in the evening. But you still felt like you were being productive and doing something, do you know what I mean? See, I kind of, kind of, but I think I had probably had quite a different experience. Yeah? <laughs> the girls were, the guys were just like all on games courses. And they weren't quite like they didn't go clubbing or anything. Really? I mean, I went clubbing when I come back and see Jeremy. Yeah. But like, but you never used to go out. We went to like pubs and that, but they were just like in a massive gamers, so they'd be up to like four or five, or like doing like D and D campaigns. What just gave in? Yeah, it was like you know I, I saw. I don't know. I, I I think where I am now, I'm quite content. I'm quite happy with. I think. I think. It's strange. I think I felt that when I when I left, would it suddenly feel like, like how you how you were saying like you, you know you miss it? But I think actually being back, I just feel like I'm more settled somehow. 
Really? It's like kind of the opposite experience. Yeah. So. I do miss, um, although I do like my job and that, like for me, it's f photography is like, I guess like the passion, whatever the word would be. Um, what would you want to do that full time? Well, yeah, if, if, if it was like a possibility, I think I would. I just, it's one of those things where at the university, a lot of the guys we'd like go to the pub with. Um, Did you do photography? No, but oh. um, I was able to kind of act as if I was, because I sort of, I knew the, the sort of the head lecturer of the photography and obviously I could go in and sort of use the stuff, but some of the guys on that course would develop, like if I was shooting on photo five mm to film, they'd have that developed and stuff, which was a perk. But also just like having access to all the software yeah. and stuff. I suppose you don't get that anymore, do you? No, I mean I could, I could pay for it, but it's like, there's yeah. Adobe subscriptions on it. Like, yeah, a lot. So much money. Yeah. And it's like, I already have to pay for certain things for work. I also get reimbursed by like, short term. It's like, if I have that going out as well, it's just a bit of a headache. Mm. Um, so what kind of photography are you into? Actually like portraits, mostly. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. When I first ever did photography, I, was in, I thought I, I liked landscapes, but then I started just taking pictures of friends. Mm. And um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a sort of strange angle, maybe it's a kind of niche, I don't know, but it, there's something about when you change the lenses, it can sort of distort the faces. And there's something quite cool about that, because it's sort of, I know it sounds a bit kind of like artsy and that, but it's like the same way that when you look in a mirror, you never really look at yourself, mm. and, you're, and you, you this, when you look into lenses and how they distort and warp faces, you start to realise like even when you're looking at pictures of yourself, you're never actually seeing yourself like through human eyes. Yeah. Because the glass has such an effect and I think, I love the idea of doing like a series of five photos and you just use five different lenses and you can just see that ever so slightly it changes. But I, I often wonder like, does the human eye do the same thing as a lens? So like, if you had two people just with the eyes, like not, not the brain, would they look different? Wow, that's deep. Oh, no, it's, uh, well, that's crazy though. So you could, you actually never see yourself how other people see you. Well, that's that's sort of like my my mission with the photography is to find out. Or find out actually how you look through other people's eyes. Yeah, I mean, even less so myself, just like Everything. more just life in a human yeah. life. But I suppose like so that's why I, I, that's the thing about acid that does interest me a little bit. What? The face, what a face would look like, a human face. What would, yeah. I would have just been like, you know. I mean, I, I don't really know much about the effect. I just know that one friend said when he took it, he looked at like a picture on the wall and he sort of like went into the picture kind of thing. And like, it felt like there was like kind of colorful grains of sand moving what? on the wall. And I'm thinking like, if it's like that on a wall, imagine like a face, like eyes and all that. Do you think it would be like moving or kind of like Picasso style, like very, yeah, just <laughs> long and cued, maybe. So, was he a bit rebellious at university? <laughs> he was a bit wild, actually, yeah. <clears throat> there was, um, yeah, we used to go out quite a lot. Um, yeah, he did a few strange things. I <laughs> There was one night we were out and um, yeah, he he was drinking um, PKs as he did, mm -hmm. um, and he it was like dancing all over the place and spilt one, um, and it was just like all over him. And he was he was chatting to this girl, um, he was like he was quite into him actually this girl, yeah. um, but he was just oblivious like as he is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. Because he just built this VK, his hands were all sticky, and he was just chatting to this girl. And then he just wiped his hands on her. <laughs> he was just like, she had this like white oh, dress on. on. Yeah, she had this white dress on, he just wiped his hands on her white dress, and then just walked off. It's crazy, off. It's just, there's this weird correlation between white dresses. Um, funny, I, we were talking about it, I stayed over last night. Yeah. We were chatting about it. Um, once we went out with our friend, our friend from school, Phoebe, and we were just walking to a club, and she'd spent literally about two hours just looking perfect you know mm. she had this white dress on and as we were going up, <laughs> up the street just before we got to the club she was car comes past hits a puddle and literally oh, no. all, all up her back and she was like oh, no. this is a strange question but 
My head's hurt a bit, is it alright to know Yeah? Yeah, I don't mind. You got a hangover already, is it kicking in? Oh, I didn't actually drink. Oh really? No, no. I didn't either. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to, I was supposed to drive home, I just came up and get my keys. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work out well. Yeah, I'm meeting some, well, I was meant to be meeting some friends tomorrow, so I just didn't want to mm -hmm. be hungover, not see them in ages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy uh, seems to have been putting it away, as usual. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was gone. I think he was gone by the time I got here at, like, half eight or something. Yeah, kicking him back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he's planning on taking the asset tonight. I'm yeah. surprised he had it, actually. Oh, he's forgotten it, if he has. I remember he, he had a sort of psychedelic phase, but... Yeah. I was under the impression that he sort of was a phase, and then he sort of... Yeah, he, he told me he stopped as well. He said it was kind of, I don't know, like not helping his mental health really. I thought mm -hmm. he'd kind of packed it in, but maybe not. Maybe he's just kind of microdosing or something. Mm. Yeah, it's like, he said it's good for like depression or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard that. But I don't know. <laughs> I'd imagine antidepressants are good for depression. It's as well. probably not recommended on, you know, NHS website. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Have you taken have you many drug experiences? Not really. Just just weed, really, like you were saying. Um, yeah, I kind of smoked a few times when I was at uni. Um, yeah, when I was 16, when I first smoked weed. Um, yeah, just with some friends. We used to do it I don't know, every other weekend or something like that. Just go, you know, go to a park. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke some weed. Thought we were so cool. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, it's crazy because I actually got into smoking like normal cigarettes from weed. So I started smoking weed first and then got into cigs. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying. I feel like that's why I probably smoke now. I'm trying to cut back though because I know it's not great. You don't strike me as a smoker. Really? Why? Why do you say that? I don't know, just... Um, What's a smoker? What would a smoker be? That's a good point, I don't know. I just, uh... Not getting smoker vibes, I don't know. Mm. That's such a thing. I feel like that's a compliment. I'm going to take it as a compliment anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it was intended as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to cut back. I will eventually. Yeah. Do you smoke? Uh, no, I don't smoke cigarettes. Oh, you said you smoke weed. Do you still smoke well, weed? Well, I had like, um... A very, very well, a short phase compared to people. Like, it wasn't a regular thing, but when mm -hmm. I was at uni, we sort of, me and some of the guys would occasionally, you know, have a little smoke and that. Usually it was with, it was with tobacco, actually. No, I don't smoke cigarettes just because it's, you get through it, you know, stretch yeah. it a lot, a lot further. But yeah, on that student budget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was at, Surprisingly, I was actually about 15 when I first. Really? So, 15? Yeah, wow. I, think I, I think I smoked weed before I actually had any alcohol. Before you drank? Yeah, well, I had a, a friend who was slightly older. And I was basically around his house, and um, his mum was just about to go out, and his brother was like really, you know, like a real drug in, into it and all that. And I sort of. I remember we went upstairs, and um, in, in the back of his computer, he found a, his brother had stored a grinder in his computer and basically he opened it up and he was like, he said, do you want to see what like weed smells like? And I was like, probably will never okay. have a chance. And I was like innocent as anything. I thought I'm never going to touch drugs. This is the closest I would get. And um, basically one thing led to another and I sort of, it was weird. I increasingly tried to smoke it without smoking it. What so do you I, mean? What? Well, I said like, oh, can you put some on a spoon and light it? And I'll just, I'll inhale the vapour, you know, <laughs> and then, um... Did that actually make you high? No. <laughs> but that's why I kept, but then I said, like I said, I said, he rolled it up into a, like a receipt, he rolled it up, and he says, uh, I said, I said, blow it at me, and, and I'll, um, I'll sort of inhale the second hand, and then that worked. That didn't work either, so in the end I said, oh, screw why it. Why didn't you just smoke it? Well, well I did, <laughs> yeah, and I just remember I stood by, stood by his door, and I just remember, I just had a couple of puffs, and I was like, oh, she's in isn't that bad, <laughs> isn't that bad, but then he... He was slightly older than me, he started feeling a bit guilty, I think. He was like, go and smash your face of water, go and smash your face of water. Why? Were you kind of I I whiting like, out? <laughs> no, I just, I think I was, he just suddenly realised, oh shit, this guy's like, he was a fair bit older than me. Right. He was like an old family friend, but I think he was like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have given this like 
minor <laughs> weed. <laughs> it wasn't like weird, but it was just. Um, then we went for like a really long walk after that. Yeah. 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 Nice. Like that's all of my extent of my weed. Still locked. Still locked. Yeah. yeah. I thought I'd check. It'd be <laughs> funny if it check. wasn't, I imagine it wasn't. Yeah, we just been sat here for you know, <laughs> however many hours, just even yeah. it wasn't even locked. He sh I feel like he should be coming back fairly soon though, shouldn't he? Mm -hmm. If he's, he doesn't normally stay out too late, and if he's out drunk, I feel like he won't make it till closing. Well, the trouble is, when he went out, he was already pretty off it, right? Yeah. The thing I'm thinking is like, if he gets really drunk, or we take him that sign of the club, he may just end up crashing around someone's house. Oh, see, I was hoping that he'd get really drunk, he'd puke, get kicked out by a bouncer, and he'd be back here. Yeah, well, it could happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of a bit surreal. What? I'm sort of stuck in a room. <laughs> well, his worst place is to be stuck, I suppose. I yeah, lift I guess so. Oh, God, yeah. It could be smaller. <laughs> Yeah, it could be like a reality TV show, it's gonna it? Like, it could, or like yeah. a social experiment, like see what happens yeah, with two, pe two, two strangers locked in a room. Locked in a room. The new. It could yeah. be like Lord of the Flies or something. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen um, Phone Jacker? Bits of it, Have yeah. Have you seen a lift sketch? No. As is one where they put in this lift and they sort of say, um, he's outside, he's doing voices, and he goes, um, this guy's like, I'm stuck in a fucking lift. And the guy on the He's doing the thing, he's pretending to sort of be lift maintenance and he's just sort of like playing with this guy's clearly getting really agitated. <laughs> so I don't know why I just thought that. <laughs> I feel just like that's my worst nightmare, stuck in the lift. Stuck in the lift. Oh, yeah. well, like when, when you get in a lift and it kind of drops a bit. You yeah. Know, you're just going to plump, like plummet, you know. Or just that moment just before the door opens, you're just like, cool. Yeah. Have you ever been in one of those um, really old lifts where they've got the, the grate that you've got to shut? You kind of have. got to shut it and then it goes down and then you've got to like open it again and that's scary because it all kind of rattles and yeah, it's not nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I ever have actually to be fair. Uh, yeah, I'd avoid them. Any kind of really? old lift, avoid. Just take the stairs. Yeah, 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 just take the stairs, it's not worth it. Well, I always feel like whenever you take, think, oh, I'll just take the stairs when there's a lift, I feel like you always end up, it's always like 10 times more stairs than you'd imagine it could possibly yeah. be. Yeah. yeah, that's what's nice about like tube stations, you have lifts and then they have the mm. stairs and it normally says like, you know, 121 stairs or whatever to the top. Mm. So you're like, okay, I know, you stop mm. counting them. Do you believe ghosts? <laughs> Where did that come from? The underground. Oh, the okay, fair. Like. I don't know, I don't know if I do. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've had, I'm a bit of a wimp, so I feel like I've had some kind of creepy experiences, but I feel like they're all explainable. I feel like, do you know There's what I mean? Some, yeah. Yeah, I feel like my. My logic in my brain is like, no. We think about the theory that if, when you take acid, you, you sort of can see... What, ghosts? Well, maybe. Like, th you know, if you think about it, there might just be... The same way that, like, a dog can see different spectrum of colours than we can, or, like, hear different frequencies. Like, a dog whistle, we can't hear it, but it's, mm. it's there, right? So maybe there's, like, things like ghosts. Around, like a, around us, around and you us. Just can't see them. Yeah, maybe certain <coughs> psychedelics or certain drugs open up our sort of our sensor. That's not really pretentious, but you know. And then we're just able to see things that aren't really there. Maybe. So, like, if there were, you know, people here, you know how people say that if someone's died, like they're watching you, or they can see you. Yeah. Just think they are like just in the room with you and you just can't see them but maybe your website's sort of like oxygen <laughs> <laughs> sorry i know it's just something <laughs> so do you think if you took acid you could just see the oxygen floating around maybe maybe <laughs> maybe oxygen is ghosts i know that, <laughs> that's nice so stuff. we're like breathing it breathing in ghosts yeah can you <laughs> Ghosts probably hate it when you hoover a room. <laughs> <laughs> what, because you hoover them up? You hoover them up and they were stuck in the back. <laughs> Did you ever watch um, Casper the Friendly Ghost? No. Oh! No. I know of it, I know of it. you got to watch it, it's yeah. good. Yeah. That's the kind of ghost that I like. Yeah, the friendly the ghost. Fr <laughs> the friendly ghost, Don't yeah. try and take your soul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you into like, horror films or anything? 
Some more is alright. Not, not, not much beyond that. Yeah, It always just seems like the easiest form of filmmaking. Do you think? Yeah. Well, it just seems to rely on just the sort of the most basic sort of scare tactics. And there's like certain mm. thrillers that are just so much more. But I feel like to do it well, it's oh, hard. Yeah. Have you seen Get Out? No. Okay, that's a good horror film. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Or um, I mean, there's like great ones like The Shining and that. Yeah. And Psycho. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Not a fan. Too scary for me. Do you, do you ever see The Woman in Black with Danny Radcliffe? Oh yes. Tell me that, that isn't is... one of the best horror films ever made. I feel like that's good because it's just, it's just like suspense it's just yeah. so tense and you're just on edge the whole time like what's gonna happen what's gonna happen yeah yeah there's a stage show of it you know yes i actually even see it have you have was you it good it? no i've not i've not seen it yeah so it's very different than the film but is it, really is it just as scary uh, i find it it's hard to say because when i watched women in black for the first time i was quite young yeah i was so that, I, actually. I always remembered that that just happened to that that feeling of like real horror you know mm. um, yeah, it's worth seeing I'm not really a theatre person. No. Yeah. I think I'm not a film, sort of simple minded film guy. That's not simple minded, is it, I think? No, I guess. My brother's really into films. Is he? Yeah, yeah. What does that all films are? Yeah. It was just some really sort of like pretentious rubbish. Oh, really? Yeah, some of it's alright, but. Uh, I just sort of like entertainment a lot of the time. Mm. Just have to take it away. Do you like the Marvel movies? Um, I'm not seeing all of them. I've seen um, Thor Ragnarok. I like that. That's uh -huh, funny. Yeah. yeah. What's um, the main guy in that? What's he called? Chris Hemsworth. Oh yeah. No, I didn't mean him, but oh. he's good. <laughs> oh. Um. um, the one who plays the. Oh, I see. I forgot all the character names. The like the green one. The green one. Um. <laughs> No, no, he's not the green one. He's like the, like the, the monster one. Isn't that the funny one? You know the one who's kind of like a bit dopey and funny. Has he got an accent? Yeah. I know, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know his name. He's in quite a lot of things. I think he's a director as well. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's good. Yeah. I, there's something about them. I quite, I just feel like. There's just something about that kind of thing that's quite enjoyable. Mm. And I think when you go into like a cinema, everyone's so excited. Like if you go to one of the first screens, of the, like Spider, well, I went. I remember like the first, like the new, the new Spider-Man film. I remember everyone is just reanimated by it, and I think that's just so. Like, there's a sense of community when you see a film like that. Yeah. yeah. Do you go and dress up? No. no. <laughs> I did go to the um, the Star Wars. The first one, The Force Awakens, when it came out. I didn't dress up, but Aww. a lot of people did. It's like a queue outside, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. I'll dress up. Maybe. Yeah. Life regret. Huh? Deep regret that I didn't. Oh, yeah, you should have. <laughs> missed, missed chance. Yeah, My next time. Yeah. Your friend did? Yeah, like a Star Wars party before the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, his mum made a Star Wars cake. Oh, that's so yeah. nerdy. Yeah. Oh, I love it though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. I was thinking that, like, not only food, but hoping the new one doesn't use the toilet. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking that. Good thing we didn't drink much. Yeah, I was going to say we intro if I don't drink. I feel like we're probably going to need it at some point. Oh, well, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, there's a lot of people here tonight, so I'm thinking. Even someone, if Jeremy doesn't gone. come back, we'll hear the door if it goes. Yeah, someone's got to come back, haven't they? Yeah. Which one's got any food over there? Or you like a cig or anything like that? See, I feel bad, like, going in this room or this. There's, I think, behind the aftershave, he's got some cigarettes. It's got, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Mm. I mean, we kind of like both met him through him smoking indoors when he shouldn't have been smoking indoors. So we can't mind. Of all the people whose cigarettes you could smoke in their room. Has he got a lighter? Yeah, that's a good point. It's 
matches. Matches? Wow. Old school, yeah. yeah. These are a candle, a bit of romance in a bar. <laughs> So was your friend Phoebe here tonight? What, Phoebe? Yeah. She was called Phoebe, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, Phoebe, yeah, no. She wasn't here. Oh. I, I don't think, no. <laughs> Not her thing? Mm. Oh, it is her thing, but I think her and Jeremy are just, yeah, it's a bit touchy. I oh, mean, they're not friends anymore? Well, we used to, I mean, when we first met, we were like, kind of the triangle, like really good friends. Mm. In fact, you know, where we used to hang out, I remember that her and Jeremy used to always just sort of sit in this bush and sort of smoke cigarettes, and then eventually a little bit of weed, but it was one of those things where it was like, I just felt cool by association. <laughs> like, just, just for me, just sort of being the one on lookout, making sure the teachers were coming, I just felt like, it's like you know, really cool. Partly so, gang? Yeah, partly <laughs> gang, but no, no, in fact, it was really sad, I was just on the outside, but... Oh. Um, he was like, yeah, really fancy there. Oh really? Yeah. Is yeah. that why they're not friends anymore then, is that? Yeah, kind of. I mean, they sort of, well, they probably more be going into it, but they... Why? Why not? Well, they sort of had this brief thing. And they sort of didn't end so well, but, um, but no, at school, like, yeah. When they got hold of weed, they were like, over the moon about it. But he, I think, it's funny because they were actually good pairing. Mm. Like I, I was surprised that she sort of didn't seem to. She almost seemed to. Seem make it look like she was interested, and then he kind of sort of get quite flirtatious in this, and he asked her out a couple of times, but then she just sort of withdraw instantly. I think. Um. So what she like leading him on a bit. Or? Yeah, yeah, a bit. Like I think oh. she sort of led him on. But I think. Maybe she was just scared of like committing to anything at that at that point. I don't know. Um, yeah. I sad that he ruined their friendship because of it. Yeah, I mean, it's weird because I kind of, it put me in an awkward position because I sort of feel like now I can't really You're not friends with her anymore? Well, like, occasionally I see her with her boyfriend, like, that she's like really into dogs, so they'd, like, they'll be walking with dogs, and I sort of all chat and say, oh, we must catch up. And it's, it's awful because I kind of have to say, oh, let's catch up, but I know that if mm. I did, it's one of those strange things where, although he'd never directly tell me not to hang out with her, I know that if I did, it'd become a thing. Well, he wouldn't want you even seeing it. Well, I just, that's just what he's a bit, he can be a bit like that, I think. And mm -hmm. it, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> sometimes it's a bit, you know. Um, no, it was, it's funny, I remember like, I remember the first time we met because she was already, she used to just like smoke, I don't know, if, like, like, she'd all, like, what age she started, but I remember like, quite early on, like early GCSEs, we were like walking along, and it's before we like made this like, it was called the bank, it's like this, this hill next to the, the school field, and it's where all the bushes were, and I just remember like, I just saw smoke come out of the bush, and I was like, and I just went, hello, and then I just remember she just went, hello, and I was just like, um, who's that? It's just it's Phoebe. It's like Phoebe who? <laughs> but then, um, yeah, you sort of can be friends after that. Mm, that's sad that you can't be friends anymore. Yeah, well, there's lots of people from our, from when we were at school that we sort of like, not really in touch with so much anymore. Yeah, I suppose it's easy to lose touch, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, we, I mean, don't say this to Jeremy. Okay. Right, but. I'm pretty sure that, and this may just be me like reading the signs wrong completely, and it sounds big headed, it's not, it's not intended yeah. to be, but I'm like pretty certain that she sort of fancied me. Oh, okay. Yeah, which kind of complicates oh. things a bit more. Did Jeremy not know that then? Well, I think when, when she'd be a bit more forward with me, I think he, I could see him getting annoyed. Oh, so is that understand. why he doesn't want you to see her anymore? Is it? Well, I have my suspicions, jealous? yeah. Oh, so you're in a bit of a triangle then at school then, a bit of a love triangle. Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, it's fine, I never really acted on it. Well, you didn't, you didn't like her back? What, this, I couldn't really tell. What do you mean you couldn't tell? Well, I had this thing where it's sort of like, I don't know, it's just sometimes I struggle to know like, if I fancy someone or not. 
Okay. What kind of maybe a bit asexual? Do you think? Well, I'd, I'd sort of like I had anxiety about that at one point. Like, am I asexual? Like, but I'm not. Like, I do. You know, I find you know, girls attractive, but. I don't know, it's, it's sort of a difficult thing to explain, but it's just kind of like... I don't know, it's... It's just this thing, it's like I can appreciate if someone's good looking or whatever, you know, but it's just... You don't want to like act on it? Sort of, yeah, but it's kind of like, as well, I just... I just don't have the same interest. Like a lot of guys at school, they'd be like, especially around that age, like really fired up and sort of like, that's all they talk about. But I just couldn't. I just felt a bit alienated from it all. Mm. And um, yeah, something a bit different in that regard. Like Jeremy's uh, quite the opposite. <laughs> so what, even now, you still feel feel like that? Well, a little bit. I mean, I think it's a bit better, like when you get older, because it's all, I think it gets a bit more comfortable anyway. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm asexual, but I definitely, you know, a weird struggle of attraction. Is that why you kind of, you like portraits so much, maybe? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you kind of take an interesting picture of the faces, like trying to work them out, or maybe you just see them differently to how other people see them. Like you're unpacking them, I feel, I feel exposed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, maybe. Like analyze, psychoanalyzing you. Maybe, I mean, it's all, maybe, probably it's all linked, all this stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, it has its upsides. Yeah, it's I can imagine, actually, yeah. yeah. Like, whenever we go clubbing, we actually, we sort of, like, we didn't go, like, clubbing, clubbing, we went out last night, just, like, kind of, we, like, looked around the old places, we'll see how, I think it was before his last time at uni that we actually went out, like, you know, into town. And it just really struck me how everything's just, it's all just a mask, you know, they're all just out there and they're all just playing the game. And they're all just, you know, and it's just like, it's something quite nice about just being able to, you know, I'm going to try to put a bit, like, you know when you get, have you ever gone clubbing sober? Yeah, and, and you, you feel like an observer. Yeah. You feel like you're just watching everybody else kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. do their thing and go a bit crazy and you're just like, yeah, See, get out of it. Yeah, that's what, like, how I describe my sort of, like, my sort of love life. It's kind of just being, <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds sad, but it's like... You're just being observer. Well, yeah, it's sort of, it's like you get to kind of just see everyone, you know. It's just, you don't, you get to experience it without having the drama. But then is that kind of bit lonely, just, you know, not actually being in it yourself. Yeah, sometimes, but then, you know, I sort of think when I meet the right person, maybe it'll just sort of click. Yeah, just fall into place. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I feel like a lot of people have struggles like that. I'm sure you're not alone in that. Hmm. You don't have any attraction problems. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't no. think so really. No, I think it's just, I don't know, I suppose, I suppose you, what is normal, like nothing's normal, is it? Yeah. But, you know, I think I'm attracted to boys. The normal amount. <laughs> the yeah. normal amount. <laughs> and I've known girls sometimes as well. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's weird. I feel like, you know, it's a spectrum, isn't it? Like, I feel like no one's completely one or the other. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I see girls and, you know, think they're, they're fit and think they're attractive, but I, f but I couldn't ever imagine being in a relationship with a girl, mm -hmm. I don't think. I mean, I never say never, like maybe, but... No, I know what you mean. It's sort of like... Yeah, that's one thing I do sort of feel, it's like... I know, I, I know I'm like straight, but... Definitely, yeah, maybe I am somewhat closer to asexual than. Yeah, it's a not, spectrum, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. It's all words, though, at the end of the day. I saw this um, post from Tube actually that was talking about being demisexual. And it oh, I like, saw the same oh, yeah, post, yeah. <laughs> And it's like, you know, you f sometimes you feel like it, and sometimes you don't. So you're not 
asexual but you you don't have it all the time it's kind of just when it feels right and when it's yeah. the right person so maybe it's something like that yeah I've like one of our friends actually at school like I think I said something about that but the thing is it's like I don't want to define myself with just like any label because I feel like if I say I'm this yeah then it's almost like a self fulfilling prophecy where then I, I've instantly put myself in a box of like I'm confined then to the parameters of what that label is and if I suddenly feel you know um, a strong attraction for someone I might it sounds weird but I'm the sort of person that might start second guessing it and say well I can't I'm I can't fancy them because you know? I'm it. Yeah. So I just like think I'm Nick, you know. And yeah. Nick has his own parameters and you know that sort of thing. Yeah, it's a nice way to be, isn't it? I suppose. Like, why put a label on it? Yeah. Okay, so I think you have seven cards. Two, three, four, oops, four. Five. Is this one? <laughs> I don't think you, you shuffled them. Seven. Okay, so what you want to do is you want. Oh, did you see that? Sorry. No, no. Um, so you want like a three or something and a four or something. So you want like three of a kind, so like, you mm -hmm. know, all three like hearts or all three diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then like four. Like a straight, so you can have like two, three, four, five. You you follow me? <laughs> okay. Should we do like an example round? So like, yeah, yeah, okay. so this is what I've got here. So, um, so I don't really have. So I could be like, oh, well, maybe I'll get six and a. So they're both hearts. I'm like, maybe I'll get something of those, and then. So I've got none of the same, which isn't good. So then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to put a card down and pick one up. And then I'm like, oh, okay, so I've got another, it's there, look, I'm, get, I'm starting to get straight here. Right. So I've got a nine and a ten of diamonds. Then you'd put one down or pick one up. So you can pick that one up if you want. If you're like, oh, I want that one. Do I have to trade, pick, yeah? Yeah, so you might want this one because you've got four of hearts. Mm -hmm. So you might be like, I want the three of hearts. But yeah, you've got to put another one down that you mm -hmm. don't want, like discard one. What's the joke, I mean? Oh, that should be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another one. Okay. I don't know why I've just put. No, this is good. Okay. So just put. I mean, you probably don't have any at the minute. So have you got any of the same? But okay, three. I've got, oh, yeah, so keep got your two. threes. Yeah. Um, probably. I've got two fours. Oh yeah, keep your fours. But I get probably get rid of that ten. That feels like it's by itself. Okay. Unless yeah. So I can. Yeah, so. Put that down. Oh, you probably want. Did you want that one? Sorry, I'm just. You, sorry, okay. <laughs> okay, that's. Uh, I've, I've traded that, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. And how many is it you've got to have? Is it three or four? Seven, but you have like three or something and four or something. Four or, something. or you could have a whole straight as a seven. Oh, okay, yeah. So you know, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus seven. The weird thing is, I'm not very good at this, but I can play poker. Really? Which I think that's more complicated. Right? I know, that's why I don't understand. Um, Maybe is it is it because poker you're good at like poker face and like kind of working out what someone's thinking, like the tactics of it? Is I think I like to think I am, but probably not. <laughs> have you seen Casino Royale? No, I haven't. No, sorry. Do you have Disney Plus? No. Oh. Why? Not... Is, that, is that on Disney Plus? No, but do you remember the film Freaky Friday? Oh uh, yeah, watched yeah. I've seen Jamie, that. Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. yeah. Or um, the older one, like is it thirteen going on thirty? Did you watch that? Mm, it's like no. an older version. Yeah, where they like swap bodies, and yeah. Or um, what was the? There was like a. Not she's a man, but a bit like that. Was even like the um, you know, Doctor Who episode you went about earlier. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Cassandra, the trampoline yeah. skin lady. Then you could, yeah, imagine playing poker when you swat over. So you're looking at yourself playing poker, but it's someone else in there. Okay. So you're trying to work out what you're doing. Well, like a superpower, you can just kind of project yourself into there. So you're just playing and you, you kind of like, oh, I wonder what cards they have. And you can just 
go you could, their and head. you can go into their head and see what colour they've got. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Would you do that if you could? What, go into someone's head? Yeah, just like sort of swap out. <sighs> I don't know, because I feel like it'd be, it'd be strange. I feel like would you... I suppose, yeah, I suppose you'd be going into their body, not inside their head, would you? So would it be like your... Well, let's say just like Freaky Friday, where it's like your... It's you, but you're in... Yeah, in or, their body. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be weird. So I suppose it'd be if, good... Oh, would you prefer to go into someone's mind? So you, you could like so you can see. see. But the trouble and, is, and you wouldn't, would you have self-awareness though? Because if you went into someone else's like head fully... Would you know that you were in there? Or would you just be them, right? Because <laughs> yeah. you essentially could just, for all you know, you already are that person in their own head. But because they're just experiencing without any knowledge that they're you. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I, th I, um, I feel like it would be good to go into someone's, like as yourself, in someone's body. What would be the perk? Like if someone said, if someone came to you and said like, like a genie and said, I don't know why Jeannie would offer that. <laughs> if why said, not? Why not? Oh yeah. If they said to you, like, um, if they said to you, you can go into someone's head, there's no consequence, you're definitely going to go back mm. to yourself. And you do have awareness, but only when you arrive back. Yeah. What would you do? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it would just be interesting to know, like, what it was like from someone else's perspective. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, like if I was inside your head, like, what would it be like being tall? Do you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. looking down on everyone rather than like looking up at people. Yeah, like playing for long trains. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Or just like knowing what people, like how people think as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's why I, I like books really. Just especially when you've got, you know, it's from a character's perspective. Just like knowing how they think and. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's like a character that's so far from you. Like, if it, have you ever read Clockwork Orange? I haven't read it, but I've seen the It's in the film. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Alex, the main character. Yeah. So, he's obviously like awful, like a mm -hmm. horrible character, like horrific, and he does like horrific things. But, like, when you read the book, it's all from his perspective. It's just first person, mm -hmm. like his kind of diary. And he's just so likeable. You just you're rooting for him. You really you like him. So it's quite different from the film because that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. you're just you're just seeing like all his thoughts and like why he's doing everything and just yeah, I suppose that'd be a good thing if you went in someone's head, just knowing how they think and if they think the same as you or if they think different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. What about you? What would you do? What from someone's head? Yeah. See, this is weird. I was thinking about this earlier. Um, I haven't done cocaine, right? But I've hit. I've heard that sometimes when people do cocaine, they just can't feel their face. Like it goes really? numb. Like there's that. There's yeah. There's like sometimes you hear lyrics in songs like, I'm not being able to feel the face in that. Um, so it's like the weekend. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. It's about cocaine. Is it? Yeah. I like, would never have guessed that. I think it is. I think it's it is. mad that, like, yeah, how much it can change you, like... Because people say about, like, acid when you're on a trip, you just... You just think there's more completely different and just do things that you would never do before and you just... Yeah, yeah so that's the thing, like... It's weird, but for that, for that reason, perhaps... Because the thing is, although I wouldn't want to take cocaine, okay, I don't know the effects or the risk of it, like... Mm. I have this thing sometimes where I'm like, even when I'm looking in the mirror or when I'm not, and I, or if you, you catch your, like, if I'm like, resting my hand on my face and feeling my face, if I catch my eye, like, if it, you know, and you sort of see your hand in the eye and you suddenly realise that it's all connected. I do get this weird thing. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, I know it sounds weird. I probably, if I was in someone else's head, the first thing I'd do is just like, even probably before I looked in the mirror, I'd try and fill their face. Well, because it's like, it's like a weird thing where it's like, I used to have it as a nervous tick when I was a bit younger, just kind of, just kind of. More just like touching your face. Yeah, and I just wondered like if it would feel different or if it would just feel similar. What, have you never, you never like touched people's faces before? I don't feel like it's a kind of thing where you go around and people are just okay, where you're just touching their faces. I feel like. If you go up the high street and say, excuse me, can I please well, touch no, your face? Well, no, not strangers, but like your friends who never like, you know, like... 
It's Come just, on, bitch. It's, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't want this shit. Well, no, you know what? Well, my friends are like Jeremy. So, there's the okay, answer yeah, to that. Fair yeah. fair but what about, like, um, you know, if you like, got with someone, like, you must have felt their face and, you know, mm. felt their face a bit at some point, no? No. No. No, I don't know. It's this. I feel like it's a weird thing now. It's become a thing. What? You, that you want to feel someone's face? No, that I want to miss. Well, just, just. I feel like this is a strange. This. I feel. I feel like strange now talking about this. Because it's like I'm thinking about faces. <laughs> that <laughs> just sounds weird. <clears throat> Do you want to? Like, I don't know. Well, feel your face. Yeah, if you want, like. You never, you know, something you think about a lot, you've never done it before. See, I feel, I feel like there'd be very little perks to this, but then I also feel like now, now that you've brought it up, it's kind of one of those things where if I don't, it feels strange. What if you don't, it's stranger than doing it? I feel like in some way it's a some form of rejection. Which <laughs> <laughs> no, I what. won't feel rejected if you don't want to feel my face, that is completely fine. No, but it's something you've thought about. And intrigues you. What do you want to feel your face or just kind of. <laughs> Why do you feel my face? And then I'll feel comfortable feeling your but face. But I've felt people's faces before. That's like. What would we do at the same time? Or would that make you feel better? It would. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll tell you that. I don't know, okay. What, so you can't see that? That's, that's, that's exactly that make it better? why. That's one that. Yeah, fair. Or would, would you, would you, have you ever felt glasses before? These are very nice glasses you can feel. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Maybe we should shut our eyes, but that'd be less weird. That's actually a good idea. Then we might poke each other <laughs> in the eyes. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Right, you... <laughs> I don't do this, okay. Right, right. Do you do a countdown, do a countdown. Let's do a... <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Where are you starting? Temples. Let's start at the te- I feel the temple is the most neutral place on the place. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is interesting now. Is it's it? Different, yeah. Why? Have I got strange temples? It's a much, much sort of smoother face than I do. Really? Yeah. Are you comparing? You're feeling your own? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you've got stubble. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I don't think I want to poke you up. I don't know why I was almost poking you in the eye. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be a good idea. I want to the ear. You've got quite soft ears. You've got quite soft ears. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've been told I have quite smooth eyebrows. Oh, really? Okay. Although I. I feel like you might have done your eyebrows in a way that might mess up. No, that's alright. I've brushed them. I'm not putting anything in them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've actually got quite smooth eyebrows. Yeah. I sometimes like go just. I sometimes just a nervous tip will just go against my eyebrow. I oh, do. You? Like not feel weird. It does a bit. I won't do that. I'll mess you with them. Yeah. It's like if you ever had, you know, like velvet something, you go out the wrong way on like velvet. Yeah. Or like that kind of rubber. Do you have that weird rubber that just feels like skin? <laughs> no, uh, sometimes like glasses cases. Oh, I haven't okay, got one with me, okay. but sometimes they like it feels like that weird kind of. Or like um, what you clean like TVs with, like those. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Like the the. the so like yeah. I feel like we should reflect on this this moment. <laughs> Or maybe we just shouldn't. Shouldn't, yeah. Maybe we should just never mention it again. I feel like that was a bit weird. Yeah. It's one of those things where it's like it was, but it wasn't. Well, why is it weird? I feel like it wasn't as weird as we thought it was going to be. No. I feel like we've learned something today. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to change my answer. What answer? Like, if I could swap, that's definitely the first thing I'd do. Oh, okay. Because, like, now I'm like, yeah. Well, well, I'm more intrigued now. But I'd probably freak out. I'd be like, if I actually felt... I, on you? Yeah. Yeah. But then it kind of, it's kind of like that... No, no, I get that. I get too, too, uh, too, like, weird with it. Well, like, it's like the thing of, like... 
I think the reason I find it interesting is because it just makes me aware that being um, like I don't know how to put it, but like it makes you aware that like what you're experiencing, like your consciousness is coming out of this sort of dome. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Mm. I was kind of freaked out if I didn't know. Do you want to try my glasses? I actually do, yeah. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. I think I look good with glasses. I hope these frames are suitable. Yeah. <laughs> do you think I do? Yeah, it actually quite suits you quite nicely. Do I look clever? You do, yeah. More clever than I do with them on. <laughs> I actually, this doesn't actually look that bad. Does that mean I need glasses? Maybe, maybe it does. Like, should everything be blue? Maybe, maybe you actually do need glasses. I know. Jer well, Jeremy tried them on, he said, oh, I can't see these. Did uh, he? They hurt his eyes, yeah. Oh no. Okay, I think we should have gone to the Should have gone to the Yeah. Thank you. There you go, I've got anything you can try on. I'm sorry. No, that's alright. Yeah. <laughs> I just realised I've just completely ruined your car. Oh, it's alright, you weren't really getting it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. Useless. Um. So, where'd you go last night then? Was it just you and Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just sort of. I mean, you, we, we didn't want to have too many drinks because obviously tonight and then he had to be out to get ready. It was a bit strange, because we haven't been out just the two of us in a long time, and it, it did feel a bit, perhaps we've drifted a bit. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I think it's just kind of one of those things where, when we're in a bigger group, like there's more than two of us, it, he, he kind of enables him to kind of be more himself, and I know he likes to socialise and get involved in things, but when we went out, just the two of us, it almost felt a bit like I was like holding him back, and he was kind of just not getting engaged with things to be polite. It's not really my scene as much these days anymore. Mm. Um, well, it just felt like he wasn't like invested in you properly. Yeah, sort of. It's one of those, those ones where you know you have a friend when you're younger, and it's kind of, you're friends because, you know, you had lots in common when you were younger, but then you realise if you met now, you might not be friends. Yeah, yeah, I've probably got some friends like that. But I mean, it doesn't mean that you can't still be friends. Like, you know, not all your friends you have loads in common with. You can still get on really well with people and have completely different interests. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I agree. I think it's um, it's just a fear that he's um, just become a sort of sentimental kind of token. Be invite. You know, I'm happy to be invited to stuff, but I just think maybe he doesn't actually want me here. But no, I don't. You don't get that impression. He used to talk about you quite a lot. Really? Yeah. What, uni? Yeah, he used to talk about his home friend Nick. Mm, well, hopefully all good things. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were, they yeah. were. Um, and then I had some friends from swimming as well. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of it really, you just had those two main groups. Do you still hang out with the swim swimming lot or is it just Jeremy that you really see now? Um, some of them, like a few of the girls I still do. Uh, I feel like we drifted quite a lot though. Um, yeah, I think just when you're used to seeing people regularly, you know, when they're in your life day mm -hmm. to day, and then they're just not anymore because you've all got your own thing going on. Yeah, I think it's just hard to stay in touch really, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like, I, mean, I am trying to make an effort with them because I know I am bad at bad at things like that and bad at messaging and meeting up with people but you know when you just you feel like you're the one putting all the, all the work in yeah and you feel like you're getting like a response but then they take longer to respond and longer and longer and yeah the drift drift apart yeah so I feel kind of like we're drifting a little bit which is yeah it's sad but you know we, we do just have different lives now when we're not still at uni yeah I don't know how, how often you're like you're down down south, but like you could always like, come out with me and um, Jeremy sometimes. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. It'd be a bit like not yeah. not not like when we had like Phoebe around, but there's, we work quite well as a we worked well as a trio maybe. So. Oh, what? So you feel like the two of you don't get on as a team, but 
With an extra person, you'll feel all right. Well, no, I mean, just like, you know, it's been nice chatting here and like getting to know you, and I think, so you know, Jeremy, it sort of it makes sense. It's kind of the three of us kind of getting together. Yeah, you want a buffer. <laughs> I'm not buffer, just like, we know, like, you say you've drifted with your swimming friends. I'm yeah. Sort of, I'm feeling like I'm drifting with Jeremy, but maybe we'll, we'll both be the glue that will fix each other's situations. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, could try it. Mm. I'll, I'll let him know <laughs> if ever we get out. Yeah. <laughs>
so much of someone's being is unknown to even their best friends. Mm, yeah, you can know someone for like four years and then you've seen like face, arms, hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? So have you never seen like any of your friends like topless or naked or anything? Well, you know, it's, it's, I think it's like, maybe it's like different for guys for some reason. Well, well, I don't, well yeah. <laughs> it's different for guys, isn't it? It's sort of like... Why? Why is it? Oh, I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but rules I'm... makes me broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I think they might get the wrong idea. I'd break, start breaking <laughs> those rules. <laughs> you just let somebody see Jeremy, just, you know... Just like rip his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. I'm Ask him first, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I've got to... Imagine he said yes. Imagine I ask him and he just goes, alright. No, that's fine. <laughs> I, go, yeah. I go, oh, okay. I didn't, get, didn't understand, like, our, our friendship had gone to that level. But no, oh. I, well, I don't know. It's just this thing. I mean, sometimes you see someone in the gym or, like, you know, swimming and stuff. But if you're, like, if you have two guys in a room and you're sort of, like, like, say, getting changed, there's always this thing which is, like, well, let's turn away, you know, let's do this. I think, obviously, some guys are, like, really like, exhibitionists. Mm. You know, like, show their bodies off and that, but... Yeah, I don't know, it's... It is a strange one. Because I've, you know... Mm, it's weird. I've seen most of my friends naked. Not, like... not, like, fully. Well, some fully, but... I've seen lots of my friends topless. What? That's not no, weird! It's just, no, it's not, I know it's not weird, but it's just like, that's such a foreign concept to me, because it's like, like if I was with, it's not just maybe uncomfortable, if I was in a room with Jeremy and he's just like, I'm just, I mean, sometimes he does, sometimes he'll like say I'm going to get changed, but I always feel like if I don't turn my back, then it's kind of like... What, like, like rude or... Yeah, it's like, what? But we the toilet. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know if it Oh, yeah, you you must see everything then. No, no, you, you, you look ahead. You look <laughs> ahead. I mean, sometimes people will like, you see someone like, act like sort of acknowledge, like and then it's, but it's like, you don't have a little. Well, sometimes you see out of the corner, but it's kind of like straight, you know, get away from that. Because it's just like, well, I'm just imagining going to the toilet, and I'm just like staring at you, thinking, what are they thinking? And like, also, it's horrible for that person because it makes them feel self conscious. Well, maybe not, but. Maybe that because they're just thinking like what are they look you know what they look. I mean it's something not not that but like even just with like you know my body I feel sometimes a bit like I have nothing no reference point because you see all these like you know all these Marvel superheroes you know you know what I'm taking they're drinking special juices and going to the gym like every hour of the day with a personal trainer. Yeah, but that's like not a normal body, is it? Like that's something extreme. Yeah, I know, but it's like you don't. I feel there aren't many in-betweens. You have, like, really ripped kind of guys, and then you have, like, really overweight kind of guys, and it seems like there aren't really many like, in-betweens, and, like, it, it's sometimes difficult to think, like, what should a normal kind of body look like, and like, what's attractive as a, as a body, you know? Mm, yeah, no, I know what you mean. But I feel like bodies are so different. You, it is hard to say what is attractive. Yeah. people have so many different preferences. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I sometimes, like... Not, like, want to... Like, I sometimes just feel like... And this isn't, this isn't like... I don't mean... I'm, this isn't like me, like, trying to steer a certain way, but I sometimes feel like I kind of... I'm, like, thinking... You know... I just want to kind of know, you know? I just wish someone would say to me... You know what? Oh yeah, you know, you've got a good body or <laughs> oh no, you know you need to do something about that, you know. I thought I know I would say that. Well, I don't know. Well go on then, I'll tell you. Or you gonna critique I'm not gonna break you out of ten. Give me a school. <laughs> mm. If you want to, you said that you know, you never had that opportunity. Well, well, Now's you, your opportunity. Well you can you go first. Alright. So I what, really? No, I don't think. I think. It's just like weird, isn't it? It's Jeremy's room. 
cold. Yeah, okay. I'm with you on the cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah, but it doesn't like... have to be weird. It doesn't have to... Just... No, I know, but... It's just bodies. It didn't have to be anything. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that broke up, not me. Yeah, yeah, I know. They got a di- in a different venue. What, not in Jeremy's room. <laughs> yeah. He's probably got cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's like not. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Oh, c- cigarette maybe? Cigarette? Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. Is it, is it bad that I'm reading his diary? I feel like maybe I should. You can't understand it, so you're not really reading it. <laughs> <laughs> True. I feel like it's maybe slight invasion of privacy. Slight, maybe slight. slight. But you, you, he, you know, is potentially trapped in you, accidentally or intentionally. So, it's payback. Yeah, I've no idea what this says. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Yeah. Okay, alright. I'll like to do this one. Yeah. You can have any meal. It's paid for. It's going to be delivered. What are you having? Oh, that's difficult. Um... I feel like fish and chips or something. Classic. Yeah. It's not boring. Like fish and chips, like mushy peas. Until you said the mushy peas. Oh, is that really? You've it? just redeemed yourself yeah. there, yeah. Wait, um, you mean, is that better or worse? That's better. That's better. Oh, okay. That's better. You've just, you've, without that, it was like, it's classic, but you know, but you've but ventured boring. out. You've got but the mushy peas, that's, 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 that's a little bit of detail. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Probably, um, see now, now you've said that, I'm thinking, but my, I'd say my original answer, although you swayed me a bit, probably just like Chinese. Mm, okay. Like, what, what would be your order? Okay, so I'm Am I going all out? Like, just, yeah, okay, it's okay, paid for, okay. all out. It's all paid for, okay, <laughs> so I'm going egg fried rice, right, classic. Yeah, classic. Chicken, uh, sweet and sour chicken nice. balls, right? Yeah, nice. Crispy seaweed, which you can mix with the egg fried rice, which <laughs> sounds crazy, but believe me. You're losing me a bit, you're losing me. Okay, mm. okay just chuck some chips in there. That's, I know, you would <laughs> never eat that much, but like, I'd certainly try. Okay. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm on board with that. What pudding would you ever put in? I don't think I would physically manage a pudding after that, but I yeah, guess. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe just like, just drink some sugar and water in a pint glass. That's not As a joke. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Right. Do you think he'd be cheeky if I was a stick? Yeah? Yeah. Do you think he'd mind? Well, that's a different question. <laughs> well, he would mind. <laughs> he says he wants to quit anyway. Yeah, I'm just helping him. <laughs> Uh, Shut out the window. Yeah, that's pretty best. He managed not to make the room smell like smoke so far, so. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna like one in bed, are you? No. It'd be that would be dangerous. Thing. I don't know. Very idiotic. 
Oh, sorry. You dropped them. Yeah. Do you like smoking? Mm, yes and no. I feel like I kind of wish I never started, but I don't know. Because I like doing it now, I like the feeling of it. And I feel like if I don't, then I just feel a bit. Aggie. I feel a bit lost as well. I don't know. I feel like my hands need to be holding. The yeah, cigarette. I do. I feel like my vapes. Yeah, I, I need to try that actually because a lot of people say that yeah, it's just having your hand do something. It's probably worse for though because it's high nicotine, right? A I thought you could get nicotine free ones. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, maybe that'd be good. Yeah, idea. maybe I should try that. But like, what's in that? I mean, cigarettes were deemed safe for like. Yeah. 60 odd years after they fall in love with problematics. Like it's what? probably going to come out, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just as bad or worse for you. And there'll be something else. And, that'll be and all these diseases yeah. that vapes cause or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like blow up. <laughs> you smoking like while swimming? Yeah. Probably not the best idea, really. I would have thought that, like. Yeah. Affect your lungs. Yeah, it didn't help. Um, I think just because I was. During exams, I think I just smoked a lot more, just the stress of exams. And then I was smoking more, and then I was getting worse at swimming, so that made me more stressed. Um, so it wasn't, it was kind of a bit of a vicious cycle, really, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of wish I never got into it, but it's too late <laughs> for that now. Have you tried to quit? Yeah, once or twice. Um, like when I just finished uni, tried mm -hmm. to quit. Um, but then I started this new job and it just... You just always find new stresses and you're like, this yeah. isn't the right time to quit. Um, you think the acid would like, make it worse or better? <laughs> like if you took it? I don't know, it might be a distraction, it might be better. So no, it might just be swapping. Oh, I don't think I don't think you'd suddenly become an acid addict. But I hope not. Yeah. I feel like you do hear about people like taking certain psychedelics and just becoming like resolving all past traumas and stuff. But I think maybe maybe it's not the the, the most scientific sound way to quit smoking. Probably not. No. 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 I feel like I just started smoking to look cool <laughs> sounds so stupid now but i don't know just everyone you know in smoking areas outside clubs just look so cool and then they all chat to each other and just yeah. got a bit left out so this yeah. isn't like um an insult or anything but okay <laughs> no, no no i just um no i feel like you don't strike and again this isn't like not like this but like you don't strike me as a sort of person that would Care if someone thought you were cool or not. Oh, there you go, it must be working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so cool that I don't look like I'm trying. I get it though, like <laughs> James Dean. Yeah, like, exactly, yeah. Smoke, you know. I've often like flirt with the idea, but. No. Just, uh. No. No, I mean, don't start, it's not good for you. <laughs> I smoked a cigarette once. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? I don't think I did it properly. What do you mean? What, you didn't, didn't inhale properly? No. I've, just straight, no. straight in and out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally just popped it. Someone said, like, that's how you smoke a cigar, not a cigarette. <laughs> Apparently you don't inhale a cigar. Yeah, just... you just get, like, the taste of you or something. Yeah. I've never, never tried a cigar, but... No, I mean, you... I don't think it would really uh, suit me. No, you just go, like, really, like... Oh, let's go get some chewing tobacco. <laughs> yeah, get some snuff. <laughs> or snuff. <laughs> <laughs> like the boxes that people used to have oh, in like, okay, yeah. Victorian times or something, and they just like, like snort it. That's a bit, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, try that, try that. Is chewing tobacco different than just tobacco, or could you just rip one of those open and start chewing? 
don't know. It sounds like a stupid I'm try. sure that's a stupid question, but it sounds logical. I feel like it must be different. Yeah. Sure. Surely, yeah. I feel like it can't taste nice to chew. Yeah, I don't think they do it for the taste. <laughs> well, yeah, no one yeah. Just, yeah. Sleep. I don't wake up today. No. 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 How long have you been for? Not long. About ten minutes probably. Mm. I might just get back in. It's quite cold. Right? Oh. I just want to wake you up. I'm a bit restless. Mm. Thanks. Yeah. Good dreams. thinking about um yeah I had this like bad experience with cat. Really? Yeah, I just I felt like I was just kind of dreaming that I was in it again. It's kinda of like outside my body. When did you say that? Like last year, like the beginning of last year. Right. Would not recommend. No, no, <laughs> no I've done it. Yeah. No. What do you think made you dream about that? I don't know. Probably. No, probably acid. Thinking about the acid. <laughs> so thinking about taking it? I don't know. I feel like it'd be. I don't want to like pressure you into it or anything. I feel like I'd be going on about it. No, that's alright. I feel like maybe I've been like. I'm not trying to steer you away from it. <laughs> Why? Well, no, I don't. I mean, I don't. Like, what I mean to say is that if you, you know, if you want to take it, you can. Like, 
I'm not going to stop you. What, just... you don't want to do it as well? No. No? Mm. It's just, you know... I mean, I can kind of see the appeal. There's a part of it that's like, maybe this is like, we've been put in this situation for some reason, and it's like, now or never kind of thing. Mm, but... Maybe it's meant to be. You never know, but I just keep thinking about like, I remember a few times like, I didn't smoke weed much, but there's a few times I did. And I just remember like, there was one time where I just went down the garden with a friend and he sort of, I guess it's called a, is it a spliff when you put tobacco in as well? Yeah. Like, you know, rub a spliff in there. And I just remember like, I didn't freak out, I didn't feel paranoid, but it was just like, it just felt nice. And I just remember, I had never really listened to music whilst like, drunk or high or anything, and I just put some, some headphones on. I just remember just like, it felt like my whole life I'd been listening in mono, and suddenly everything was in stereo. And I was just like, I don't know, it just made me aware that perhaps there's certain things and that we're capable of experiencing that just in our usual state we can't. And so that that's kind of got me thinking like, if I was like that weed, like... What would you be like that? Yeah. But then it's like, I think all the terrible experiences I have with weed, and I'm like, imagine that, but then that's it, so... Yeah, I see your point. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to? No. No? No. Also, like, in case I, you know, I'm quite sleepy, I don't want to, like, sort of take in... I don't even know how it works with sleep. Yeah, I've no idea. Don't just like pass out and suddenly just like never wake up again. <laughs> well, I don't want to sleep on my own. I feel like that would be a bit weird. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel bad because I feel like I'm sort of stopping you. So I like. No, you're not stopping me. Yeah. yeah I just feel like I'm not very, not very fun. <laughs> I'm not taking it, but. No, I don't think, I don't think like that. Well, no, so well, basically what happened with Phoebe was, I feel all right saying it, but basically they had a thing. Just after sixth. Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy and Phoebe, yeah. They were together? Yeah, well, yeah. They were sort of together for a while. Yeah, I think he just kind of, a bit obsessive, maybe. Mm -hmm. kind of, yeah, it was a bit awkward, really. I sort of put in the middle of it. I didn't really say much, but like, in the end, I, I, I don't know exactly what happened, but he basically blocked her. And, um, so it didn't end well then? No, but the thing is, like, after he blocked her, he kept asking me, like, to look on my account to see what she was doing, sort of thing. Mm. And he'd be like... And it was just, like, the frequency as well of which he asked. I was just thinking a little bit, like, hmm. Just got a bit much. Yeah. And he sort of, like, even a year later, he, he had, like, a, pa a picture of her that he had, he'd fold it up and he kept it as cigarettes. And like part of it, I can kind of see how that'd be kind of like a bit sort of romantic and that, but like the fact that they haven't been together for a year. Mm, a, bit. a little bit, yeah, isn't it? But so is he still not over it then? Well, no, well, when he got to uni, like it would clear up. Yeah. Like literally like one term in and he sort of seemed to be over it. And they've not really spoken since? As far as I know, they haven't. But that's kind of the thing, that's why it's a bit awkward, really. So why did they break up? Well, yeah, I think just, I mean, I don't know all the details, but I just think. I mean, A, they were about to go to university. Yeah. It's always that, you know, you go different places. But I think also he was just a bit intense, to put it, put it politely, really. So what, was he just, like, a bit too needy for her? I think so. I mean, from what I can gather, I think that's it. I think he just kind of maybe wanted, wanted more out of it than you know, she did. Okay. It just created this dynamic. I mean, I just remember them arguing on nights out. Obviously, I'd like, if I went on a night out, I usually used to be with them, like I said. So it's kind of... So you have to be like the peacemaker between the two? Yeah, and I just, yeah, that's, that's not, not fun. <laughs> you know, that's kind of not, not what I'm... About you and Jeremy's... What about us? Just friends or? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely just friends, yeah. No. I didn't know, like, I was going to ask earlier, but I just was a little bit like... What, do you... No, I, I didn't, I don't know. Did he say anything? No, 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 okay. no, I just like... 
No, I'm just completely like there's never been anything like just completely platonic. Yeah. 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 Like he talks about you, but like you know he talks about everyone. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think I just kind of. Yeah, Maybe we'll meet her one day. What, Phoebe? Yeah. What, she's with someone else, you said? Well, she is now, yeah. I actually told him last night. What, told Jeremy? Yeah. How did he react? We sort of like paused for a minute, just sort of looked at me, <laughs> didn't really say anything, and thought, oh dear. <laughs> like, what does that mean? But then he seemed to. Is that when he was drunk, or was that? No, I was on the way out. Oh. Way out. It was weird going out. It just seemed quite different. Why? How different? It's a bit quiet. Just sort of like, I don't know. Although, he, it's like, I don't know. I think maybe it was just him reacting to me and all that. He bought the drinks though. <laughs> that was nice. I don't really like to drink much anyway. Yeah, he's always generous. <laughs> yeah. So, do you know Phoebe's new boyfriend? No. 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 What he's like. I think it's from, from probably from work. I just as you sort of come up on Facebook. Yeah. And I thought. Mm. Mm. I was cool. I was thinking, do I tell Jeremy? Because I, I knew, like, I, for all I know, she's unblocked him. We don't want really to talk about it anymore. It was years ago, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, maybe he saw it before. Yeah, I don't. Know. Is that something back? You back? Well, you're not sending a joke at first. Oh, that's right. What the fuck are you doing, Jan? What do you mean we're doing it? You locked us in here. I just got back. No, before you went out. Hours ago. Oh my god. Have you been here the whole time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, stuck fuck. In. That's why you weren't answering your texts. Yeah, my I phone's just, dead. Fuck me. I assume. I assume. We were downstairs, I thought we were downstairs of you. I said, let me grab just, my stuff, I'll say goodbye, and then I just, left before I even came back down. I just, I don't know, everyone had gone out. I just, I forgot. Did you not hear us knocking? No, no. When you locked the door, we were literally knocking. Have you, have you been going through my stuff? Well, no, I mean, we were like trying to see if we had like a spare phone or something. I remember, like, okay. we've been respectful of it. Yeah, we, we found some cards and played some cards, and that was it, really. Would you mind just been chatting? I don't know, it looks a bit disturbed. Like, the stuff, you know? Well, no, like, like, I mean, obviously we're just like, when you're in here for so many hours, you sort of like, looking around see what's in it, but like... Snoopy? We haven't been snooping. We couldn't understand that anyway. Okay, well... I had like two of you six, that was it. When we, uh, when we sorry, I'll buy some more. No, 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 it's fine, sorry. I, I just, I had a really bad night, sorry, that was, but... We found your, uh... <laughs> your, uh... My what? Psychedelic dream machine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't touch it. No, that's okay. Um, um sorry, I, I feel like a bit of a good for walking in like that. No, I, I, I like... Sorry. I thought, um, for a minute, I thought you'd done it intentionally, but I'd like... It's not one of those things, is it? No, no, it's just a uh, weird night. Are you okay? I'm, I'm a, I, it's just a weird, like, I was drunk and uh, just some, some shit happened at the club, I'll tell you about it later. I don't know. I, I, sorry, I, sh I should have, I should have apologised. No, I don't get you that. No, that's fine. Um. I might use toilet. Yeah, it's okay. been like. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Maybe. Maybe just because I'm in such a state, I want the next thing I say, I want it to be a proper apology. I, I, maybe it's best that maybe you go and find something to do that doesn't sound like a dick thing to say. No, we're hungry, that's all right. Well, you want us to leave? Yeah, yeah like in, 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 I wouldn't put it that way, but like. But yeah. If that's okay, I'm sorry. Yes. It's been a really shit night. I, I'm really sorry, I'll, I'll text you at some point. I just, I just. No, don't worry, I mean. When should we get stuck? Like want to get out here anyway, um, if you just if you just go to the toilet and then like come back and collect it what well, can't stay here? I don't know I feel a bit weird about it I'll well, let, well let's let's go to the toilet then we'll, we'll talk about it all right I'll go downstairs sure yeah.
you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you?